Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. Well, our channel, I will be talking about all of the fragrances that I have purchased of my 2022 releases. Not fragrances that I just purchased in general because we'd be here for weeks, but uh, which is very terrible. Uh, but I'm gonna be talking about my new releases of 2022. I'm going to do a separate designer edition, uh, but today we're gonna be doing the niche and the indie house edition today. And I'm super excited. All of these are a love because they are still here. If they were not here, here. Actually, I have maybe two releases that are in a declutter. Maybe I'll include those on the other videos. Uh, but today, these were all released in 2022. New releases. So y'all, let's get into it, okay? If you want to hear about the new releases because you didn't watch my haul videos or you didn't watch my single review videos or my chocolate videos or gourmand videos, and I didn't mention those were 2022 releases, then please like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells. We are coming to the end of the year. I appreciate all all of my subscribers, y'all, I would have never known that I would have had this many subscribers as I do now. And all of the engagement, you all. Um, I started this channel because I love, love, love fragrances. I love, love, love travel. And I'm completely upset obsessed with nursing. So if you see me go on a little rant about any one of those or give you one of my travel stories or whatever, um, yeah, just sit back and listen in, okay? All right, so the very first one we're going to be talking about today is one that I did a... I think I did a single review on this fragrance, and uh, y'all already know I love the House of Kayali. I have every single one of them except for Citrus um, that my sister absolutely loves. So I went on ahead and gifted her that one because I really wasn't wearing it, but I love it with the orange and the rhubarb and all that stuff. It's so good. But anyway, um, this is Kayali had two releases this year that are here with me today, and this is um, Vanilla Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. Um, 64. Y'all, this fragrance is so good. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that initially I did not get the leather in this fragrance. Uh, I got the oud in the fragrance, the patchouli, all that, the rum, you know, the brown sugar, you know, every single bit of, you know, whatever it is, but I didn't get the vanilla. So not whatever it is, it's a beautiful fragrance. But I don't know if it was the oxidation, the oxygen with the fragrance, the mixture, yeah. But when I spray this now, when I smell it, I get a beautiful creamy vanilla fragrance, the creme brulee, the custardy creme brulee. I even get a little bit of that crunchy brownness on top, which is probably the brown sugar, the vanilla, the booziness, the rum, all of that, y'all. This fragrance for me, the vanilla, it's a 10 out of 10, okay? It's a 10, all right? <laughs> Absolutely love it. Um, this still competes with Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper, but I really think I am loving this vanilla, Vanilla Royale, so much more. 10 out of 10 on the new release, Kiali. Absolutely love it. All right, the next one we're gonna talk about is Aaron Terrence Hughes, and this is Raw Cherry. Absolutely love, love, love Raw Cherry. I love Aaron Terrence Hughes' channel, his YouTube channel, and his fragrances, y'all. This is absolutely stunning. It's cherry, it's smoky. There's some citruses in here. I think there's some candied, sugared, candied, or something else in here, y'all, but it's sweet. I get a crunchy sweetness, kind of like a hard candy. Buddy has a fragrance called hard candy, but this ain't it, y'all. Um, it's smoky, it's boozy. There's some, uh, definitely, there's some cherry in here. There's some tobacco in here as well, y'all. This is so good. But yeah, there's some heavy tobacco in here. Almost smells like a cherry cigar, uh, more like a hookah with some citruses. This is so good, but you definitely, this is probably the most, the smokiest fragrance that I have regarding like, um, cigars. It doesn't even give you tobacco leaf or whatever. It gives you like a strong, maybe a strong soaked tobacco leaf cigar, like with the smoke coming out, y'all. It's so good. Get your nose on it. Raw cherry. Um, 
Tom Ford couldn't compete with this. The new Tom Ford could not compete with Aaron Terrence Hughes' raw cherry, okay? Um, Y'all, this is good. And this is a little, leaning a little masculine because of the, the smokiness and the ashiness of this fragrance, y'all. Um, it's good. It smells like you're smoking um, on a cherry hookah with some citruses, y'all. Get your nose on it, raw cherry. Love it. I need to try hard candy. That's what everybody keeps raving about. Um, so the next one is Peregrina. Yes, the original Peregrina came out in 2021, but this red edition, special edition, this one came out in 2022. It was released on Valentine's Day. Um, you know, I'm such a home, home, hopeless romantic, not homeless romantic. <laughs> I'm such a hopeless romantic that I had to have this fragrance, you guys. Um, there's rose. It smells a little oody from the woods. There's caramel. There's musk in here. Um, there's some myrrh in here. There's some elong elong in here. This is just such a stunning, stunning, sexy fragrance, y'all. Very feminine leaning to me. Uh, but this one, the actual juice didn't come out. And I don't think they reformulated. But the bottle came out, y'all, in 2022. You already know the original comes in the blue bottle. Uh, but yeah, me being, like I said, always wanting to be in love and a hopeless romantic, I had to have the red bottle, you guys. Peregrina by the House of Thamim. All right, the next one is uh, by the House of Mano Gerakinis. And this is, it's called, it's spelled Meoexis, but it's pronounced Methesis. Um, this is a beautiful fig fragrance. Uh, aside from Gris Charnel, BDK that was released as well. Um, the Extrait was released. Um, this is my second, I guess. They're actually two different balls. They're two in two different ball games, you guys. Because uh, this one, oh, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. This one is so good. You have the fig in here, a little greenness. Uh, as this has sat, of course, the juice has gotten darker. This transitions beautifully on my skin. This fragrance is not linear. You get the fig. There's some woody notes. There's some cacao. And it transitions to a beautiful, succulent, like, honeycomb, that honey we had over in Greece. Greece is really known for their honey. Uh, but yeah, that is what I get from this fragrance. Over in Greece, when you eat the honey, you just eat it straight from the honeycomb, y'all. At breakfast time, you scrape it from the honeycomb. And that is what I get from this fragrance. But Methesis, Methesis is a freaking amazing, y'all. All right? Get your nose on this fragrance. If you love a fig fragrance, a little bit of sweeten, cacao powder, honey, vanilla, slightly woody, stunning, okay? All right, the next one we're going to talk about is no other than my baby, Gris Charnel, even though I do actually do love the original better, you guys, uh, because um, it's a little more feminine, fresh, um, it's airy. This one is good. This one's definitely good for the, it's amazing as well, okay, uh, for the fall, winter, that cardamom in here. Um, it's warm, spicy. Um, there's, of course, fig. There's black tea in here. There's sandalwood. There's a lot of sandalwood in here, y'all. There's Madagascar vanilla in this fragrance. This one, to me, is a little irisy. I'm not getting um, powderiness, but I'm getting some sort of slightly like an irisy scent in this fragrance. But I absolutely love it. Men, I think you would love, if you love a rich, woody, sandalwood fragrance, um, men, I think you would love this one more, the Extrait, Gris Charnel Extrait, as opposed to the original, unless you like more fresh fragrances. Ladies, I think you would absolutely love the original Gris Charnel, and I love them. Layer them together, y'all. One, one, is, one is not redundant. You can have both. That is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you can have both. They are not redundant you guys. Um, get your nose on this fragrance. BDK, Gris Charnel, the extra. It's delicious. All right, the next one we have is Pink Me Up, and this is by the House of Atelier des Ours. Um, and this is supposed to be a celebratory fragrance. You know, black currant. It smells of a little violet as well. I think there's orris in here. Um, there's some rose in here, but it's sweet. Um, this is not like a, let's say, a unique fragrance. Um, it is very pretty. It's very girly. It's very flirty. It's juicy and it's sparkling. There's champagne in here as well. There's Calabrian bergamot, black uh, blackberry. You guys, not blackcurrant, but it smells like blackcurrant. 
but blackberry but i absolutely love it this is definitely like uh wedding day worthy um you know if you just want to look pretty for the day put on a really pretty dress maybe a sun hat or something um you're going to a picnic i would definitely wear this fragrance because it's just it's super flirty and it's cute and it's pretty and it smells like um somebody that wants to look really really beautiful on their special day but it does smell sparkling like champagne and i absolutely love it super fruity and sweet not overly sweet though and this is pink me up the bottle is just stunning absolutely gorgeous you know it still has the gold flakes in there y'all these are going to be um atelier this or is going to be one of my fragrance houses that i'm going to be exploring in 2023 um i just ordered two other additional fragrances uh, that might be here before I leave. Maybe, maybe not, but I'll review them in 2023 when I have more of a collection with the house. Uh, but yeah, Rouge Sere is amazing. Lune Feline, I absolutely love as well. Um, what other one? And Pink Me Up, and then I have a couple more on the way, y'all. Gorgeous. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is by City Rhythm, and this is New Orleans. This is probably one of the booziest fragrances. It's Gourmand Leaning. Um, so if you don't like sweet, sweet, sticky sweet, like syrupy sweet, because that is what this fragrance is giving me, but it's so, I didn't even, I just took the cap off and I smell it, y'all. Y'all, it's so good. I smell the black cherry. There's black cherry in here. There's raspberry. There's like a bready note in here. Um, there's praline in here. This is it's supposed to mimic um, him being in New Orleans where he traveled. All the scents that he smelled while, you know, going on excursions or visiting the cities and the restaurants and everything. There's jackfruit in here. There's tobacco in here. This is such a lovely fragrance. Um, I love, like I said, by the House of City Rhythm. I absolutely love Manhattan, Miami. Uh, Manhattan, Miami's my favorite. Uh, but I don't know. This one is just as amazing. You know, there's bread, jackfruit, praline. There's cherry. There's raspberry. There's uh, black cherry to be exact. There's hazelnut in here. This is such, if you love a good gourmand fragrance, a gourmand boozy fragrance, um, then you're gonna love this one. It's bready. It smells like those, um, um, what do you call it? The New Orleans, the Mardi Gras bread. That's what it smells like to me on top of everything else, yeah. All right, so this is one by the House of Mystery Modern Mark. You guys already know I have five, four. This is the fifth one. Um, and he's coming out with a couple other fragrances. One is in collaboration or both maybe in collaboration with um, Daniel Hosier. Um, so yeah, I'll get ready for that. That'll be in 2023. I'm super excited for Mystery Modern Mark. That is this fragrance house that we're talking about. This one, I was excited for this one as well. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. And this one, I got like a, ooh, I love the atomizers on this. It's so good. I got like a sparkling rose bergamot. It's it's almost champagne-y as well. But this one, it's so fresh. This could be a signature scent, you guys. Um, I get lemon in here, rose, it's sparkling. I don't even really know the notes. There's a little bit of green. This this almost re reminds me of 724 by the house of MFK. It actually reminds me so much of 724, which I did not purchase uh, because it just wasn't giving me what I wanted. It's super clean. It's a very nice fragrance, very beautiful. You know, I had a, a sample of it and um, I did use it, but I kind of tossed and turned with it. So if I'm tossing and turning too much with that fragrance, then I don't want to purchase it. But this one is reminding me of a prettier 724. Um, it's very fresh. There's bergamot. Smells very airy. Smells. Uh, it feels very clean. Um, this is such a beautiful fragrance. Ladies, I think you would really, really absolutely love this fragrance. And you can make it a signature scent. Men, if you wanted a clean fragrance, you know, with lemon, bergamot, I, it smells like there's rose in here. It smells like fresh linen, sort of. Then you need to try this fragrance. Um, it's amazing, amazing for the summer. You can wear this in the spring, but definitely for the summer. It smells like a clean shower. This is something that you wanna spray on when you step out of the shower, uh, maybe when you go to bed, like this is mentally stimulating, like all of that. And this is 7th Rui by the House of Mystery Modern Mark. All right, so the next one is Almaz. Um, I just had to get my 
bottle's a little dusty, um, gorgeous. I had to get my hands on this stunning bottle. Um, it looks like a mosque, you know, um, gorgeous. Um, I've only worn this one time, you guys, and that was um, in the summertime. But I think when I did wear the fragrance, I thought it was a little too sweet and heavy when I did wear it. So this, the fall, winter, spring, is the perfect time to wear this fragrance. Lem ooh, 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 it's good, y'all. Uh, it's good. It almost gives me a little bit of, a little bit of Herba Pura. Just a little bit, you know. There's more black currant or black berries in here. There's blackberry, Calabrian bergamot. Um, there's raspberry or it's heliotrope. There's vanilla and it's very ambery, but y'all, yeah, almost. Actually, I like this better than Herba Pura, but I love Herba Gold. So, no, this didn't beat Herba Gold. Um, this doesn't have that muskiness that Herba Pura has, but Herba Pura is, is amazing as well. But I like this better than Herba Pura. Um, and this is Almaz, but you really get that Calabrian. This smells really sexy and silky and um, like a fruity, sophisticated scent, you know? I imagine a man dressed up in a suit smelling like this, you know, maybe a linen suit or something or a dark blue suit, linen suit or a baby blue suit, uh, maybe on the Amalfi Coast or in Nice, France or, you know, um, in Grasse, France, just blowing in the wind, you know, uh, maybe with a little gold chain on, <laughs> you know, all of that, uh, but not a pinky ring, okay? <laughs> uh, but anyway, Almaz is stunning. I love this, you know? It's gorgeous. That black, yeah, it's making my mouth water, y'all. Um, that black, is it black currant or black blackberry? That black currant and Calabria bergamot in here is chef's kiss, y'all. All right, so the next one we're going to talk about is uh, Creed. Now, this was released. It states it was released in 2021. It must have been like the end of December 2021 last year because it didn't reach us until January, February um, of 2022. So um, yeah, it's going it's going in here because we didn't get it in America until 2022. So um, this. It's just a beautiful, beautiful peachy, peachy jasmine sandalwood. It's creamy. It's silky. Um, people say this may remind them of Coco Chanel, Madame Moselle. Um, I think there's a little bit of patchouli in here, but it's not like that citrusy orange, um, orange mandarin, Coco Chanel hardcore patchouli that you get in that mademoiselle fragrance no um so i would say this is like 25 percent of that but overall this is a beautiful peach jasmine sandalwood scent very bright airy fresh um this is a very pretty fragrance one that you could wear on your wedding day or just out hanging with your girls in a winery um uh, maybe on an up close and personal day this fragrance has amazing performance and if i ran out of this and i'm so surprised to be saying this because i'm not a huge creed fan and that's why i did not buy this um i didn't didn't buy this upon first sniff but the second time i smelled it i was like oh i'm getting a very beautiful peach and jasmine in here and it will pair amazing with my eos peach and jasmine lotion that i absolutely love y'all they've been coming out with some amazing lotions lately they've been watching us fragrance reviewers fragrance lovers and i know that we love to layer you know trying to find things to stick with our fragrances but y'all if you have this fragrance then you need to get that uh peach jasmine lotion by eos I got so many compliments on this fragrance in Greece. Like I said, on the airplane, off the airplane, on excursions, walking through the um, through Mykonos, y'all. Stunning sillage, amazing performance, and I love it. I would repurchase this in a heartbeat, y'all. Sometimes I try not to use it because I could. I put a pretty good dent in this fragrance because I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous, and I may wear it as my scent of the day tomorrow. All right, so the next one we have is by um, 
really and um, clearly becoming really very shortly, you know, becoming one of my favorite European London fragrance houses. And uh, I did love Penhaligans. I still actually, I still, I still love Penhaligans. You guys, I can't even speak right. I still love Penhaligans. But um, Memoirs of a Perfume Collector, y'all. I'm loving this better than Penhaligans, which is a London house. These fragrances have just captured my heart, caught me by surprise. Um, I smelled Tales from Zanzibar that was released in 2021. A Night, um, a Night in Marrakesh was released in 2021. Those fragrances are absolutely stunning. Backup bottle worthy. I would buy them in a heartbeat, all of that. And then I decided to try, um, this is called Origins of a Collector. This is also called London. In London, oh, it's such a beautiful fragrance. Gorgeous, gorgeous, very rich, very resinous. Um, there's olibanum in here, there's coffee, there's caramel in here. There's a rich vanilla in this fragrance. Um, there's there's also amber. Um, I told you guys all about olibanum, patchouli, musk, all of that. But I really get a beautiful note of caramel. I smell a little incense in here as well, you know, but that may be coming from the olibanum. It's woody, it's rich, it's vanilla, it's incense -y. You get that coffee in here, you know. You get a little bit of that caramel for sweetness, y'all. The juice is gorgeous. Um, and this is, uh, I, don't, I can't tell you, I can't see what that is in the back. But, but the Tree of Life is there, which represents the fragrance house. Um, yeah, Origins of a Collector or London, get your nose on this fragrance. It's gorgeous. Um, and yeah, get your nose on this one too. Mystery Modern Mark, 7th Rui, okay? Gorgeous. Lemon, bergamot. It's good. It smells like there's some a little bit of like light ethereal rose in there. Um, it's beautiful. Um, so the next one we're going to talk about is uh, by the House of Juicette. I have two. Um, these are all released in 2022. Everything was released in 2022, except for the Creed that I'm questioning, um, which had a different date. And this is Accident a la Vanille. I have two different versions of this. These are flankers. Um, this is Almond Cake, and this is the limited edition. Initially, when I purchased this, I was not impressed. And I was like, Juicette? I love the House of Juicette. And they are my go-to for gourmands. I'm like, oh my gosh, like what is going on? So um, I let this sit for a couple of months. It has that um, accident a la Vanille, the original that came out last year. It has that Styrax, that vanilla, that butter, that buttery vanilla, sweet Styrax, just resinous scent. Um, on top of that one, in here, it doesn't list it, but this smells like marzipan. It smells like there's some cherry in here. There's definitely some almond. There's vanilla, and it lists that there's biscuit in here. But I'm getting like a cherry marzipan nuance from this um yeah it smells like it smells like oh it's so good you guys and this is almond cake it smells like the almond cake that my daughter bakes like the almond amaretto like the almond amaretto cupcake with the oh it's so good with the marzipan almost a little cherry you know that amaretto sometimes gives you a little bit of cherry nuance a slightly coconutty biscuity Y'all, this is so good. It smells like icing, sort of, but it's not as sweet as icing, of course. Buttery, like the original accident a la vanille. Y'all, I fell in love with this about two months later after, two or three months later after letting it sit and smelling this. If you love a good marzipan, gourmand, almondy, amaretto scent with that accident a la vanille touch on it, then you're gonna love this fragrance, y'all. This is stunning. Get your nose on it. Now, the other stunning flanker, um, too many, like when people make flankers, they are not as good as the actual fragrance. Um, and this is Accident a la Vanille. Same bottles, y'all. But this one's called, I have the original Accident a la Vanille. This one's Madeleine de Proust, okay? Y'all. I know y'all get tired of me saying y'all, but I'm super excited. If I don't like a fragrance, you all will definitely know. I got so many compliments. I took this to work. This is good. You still get that Accident a la Vanille, that DNA with that buttery, rich vanilla and the Styrax like the butter cookie. On top of that, you get a peach and an apricot in here, y'all. 
it's gorgeous. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's light. It's airy. The fragrance is not light, but the airiness is coming from the peach um, and the apricot in here. It's juicy on top of that accident a la vanille DNA, y'all. Gorgeous. Get your nose on it. Juice set. Um, I have a surprise for you guys coming up. There's another release. Um, I hope I get it. They're supposed to send me something amazing. Uh, but I hope I get it uh, before this year ends. And then I'll just do a separate video on that. I have a couple fragrances that are new releases. And I'll just do a separate video because I don't want to wait because this, I have so many in this one. Okay. Or maybe I'll just include those in my designer. Okay. Y'all, this is good. Buttery, apricot -y peach, okay? Uh, but it still, dry, it still dries down to that beautiful vanilla. All right, by the House of Navitus Parfums. Venom of love, y'all. Um, this is a beautiful... <clears throat> spraying too much perfume over here. This is a beautiful chocolate cherry fragrance, okay? Love the automizers, you know? Yep, beautiful. It smells a little boozy to me. But I'm definitely getting more of that dark, rich chocolate scent. Initially, I was just getting like Tom Ford Lost Cherry and a little bit of chocolate, you know. Uh, but this one, now that it has sat for, what, a month and a half or two, I'm getting more of the... I'm still getting that Tom Ford Lost Cherry DNA, but I'm also still getting like a Tootsie Rose smell. You know, almost giving me Guerlain, um, the Guerlain fragrance. You know, um, with the with the um, with the rose and the like a tootsie roll, you know, um, with the rose and the tootsie roll and the rum and the booziness, you know. But I'm definitely getting like a chocolatey cherry boozy scent from this fragrance. But I love it. You know, I really, really liked it a while ago. It wasn't anything special to me initially, but I'm starting to get a little more of the chocolate fragrance, uh, but but the chocolate nuance from this fragrance. But it's good. It's very nice. You know, I, I really like it. Would I repurchase this one again? Um, probably not because I have a lot of chocolatey um, cherry, like Dolce Passion with the chocolate cherry strawberry. You know, but this is, it's very beautiful. Um, I do love it. And this is Venom of Love. And this is in collaboration with uh, Paulina Shar by the House of Navitus Parfums. Now, the next one, Ray Spirits, you know, is gorgeous. I told you all before, it reminds me of Mean Way Demi and Changing Constants. It's just a little woodier um, in the dry down, a little boozier and woodier in the dry down. But I'm definitely getting like a heavy dose of cardamom in here, which is not listed, but I think it's the woodiness, the pimento, um, the salted, I think there's a salted caramel, um, salted caramel fudge accord in this fragrance as well. Um, but yeah, I love it. Um, it's the price tag. You can't beat it better than Mean Way Demi and Changing Constance. And the performance on this is eight hours, y'all. It's good. Ray Spirits, I absolutely love. And I love the price, you know. Um, so get your nose on it. I think there's hazelnut in here. Um, it's really good. It's slightly gourmand leaning, but this is the perfect fragrance. Um, for if you want something sweet, for uh, somebody that wants something sweet, but that's not a huge gourmand lover, but that loves woodiness um, and sweetness at the same time, y'all. Yeah. Ray Spears by the House of Navitus Parfums. Love it. The next one is Chocolate Queen, and this is in, um, this was in collaboration with Steven um, and Red Alessence, okay? Um, the next one was in collaboration with um, Gabby over at Gabby Loves Fragrances, and this is called Chocolate Queen. I'm going to go ahead and spray this. Love this fragrance as well. You definitely get that Irish cream. That is what I really get in this fragrance. That boozy Irish cream. You get some caramel. You get some woodiness. You know, you get the vanilla in this fragrance. This is such a beautiful fragrance. Uh, very wearable gourmand. All of these, uh, both of these are very are wearable gourmands, you know on top of Steven's fragrance as well. Um, they did an amazing job in collaboration with the House of Navitus and, um, you know, pulled in some amazing perfumers as well. Um, so I think Chris Maurice was one of the perfumers, you guys. So Chocolate Queen, this is really good. Um, Y'all know I was gonna compare this to African Queen, which has chocolate, rose, 
Um, there's a lemon in there. Ooh, it's African Queen. Nothing can beat African Queen, y'all. African Queen is a lifer for me. You need to get your nose on it. It's by the House of Juset Parfums. Uh, but the, the almond, the chocolate, the rose, the lemon, y'all. Y'all, that fragrance is mine, mine for life. African Queen, get your nose on it, okay? It's a little powdery as well, love it. But it's definitely gourmand leaning and it's super feminine, you guys, gorgeous. Uh, but Chocolate Queen is good. All right, this is Followed, Followed by the House of Kerosene. I have Follow as well, which is a heavier coffee fragrance. This one, you have your, ooh, this, you smell the rich coffee-ness in this fragrance too, y'all. But there's coffee, there's caramel. I told you before, go watch my review. Um, this smells like a stroop waffle, a cinnamon stroop waffle with a side of um, espresso. Uh, but this is definitely the most amazing fragrance. And I absolutely love it. Actually love it more than follow because it's sweeter. You definitely get that. Some more spices and some caramel. You know, almost like a burnt, a charred caramel, you know? You know how you the stroop waffle, if you burn that stroop waffle in that um, waffle maker, if you burn that caramel, the edges of the caramel and the waffle maker, they come out a little crunchy. Ooh, the vanilla in here, amazing. Followed. Y'all, gourmands do something to my spirit, okay? Um, I absolutely love it. All right, this is a release. I'll tell you guys which one. Anyway, I'm going to rate my top three, okay, uh, towards the end. This is a release of 2022. So hard to find. I feel like you have to travel out of the country to buy this fragrance, you know. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't even think this is in America, you know. I found it in Germany. I'm not going to say that again because I say I think I say that. Excuse, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm spraying too much. <clears throat> Somebody called 911. <laughs> you know, I think I say that on every review. No, don't call 911. <clears throat> I'm okay. Um, that 911 should not be played with, okay? Um, anyway, y'all. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Magenta Tanzanite. <laughs> uh, Magenta Tanzanite by the House of Armani Privé. Stunning. It reminds you of Meanway Demi. It reminds you of Ray Spirits slightly. Um, but it reminds you more of Meanway Demi um, because it's a little heavier on the coffee, the caramel, and the pimento. But this one is milky. It's lactonic. It's cardamom heaven, y'all. This is so, so gorgeous. I love it. I would buy this in a heartbeat if I ran out of it, y'all. I'm going to spray this over here. I don't have on anything right here for now, but y'all, love it, 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 love it. That's what that reel says over on um, <laughs> over on Instagram. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, but yeah, this is a ten. It's a ten out of ten. Okay. Yes, coffee, caramel, vanilla, cardamom, warm, spicy. You get a rich like sandalwood pimento that makes it warm, spicy. Love it, y'all. Magenta Tanzanite by the House of Armani Privé. Okay, it's gorgeous. All right. Dol Dolce or Dolce Diablo by the House of Narcotica. It's such an amazing fragrance as well. In here, it's gorgeous. Definitely for the gourmand lover. Um, you have your, this is basically cognac. There's rum. It's super boozy. It's chocolatey. You get your dark chocolate. You get some cacao. You get some dried apricots. And you get a really fresh, uh, fresh fuzzy apricot as well. Stunning gourmand. A lifer. I would purchase this again if I ran out. Absolutely love it. Dolce Diablo by the House of Narcotica. Gorgeous. All right, the other fragrance, and this I think is the last one, is um, I hope you've gotten your tea, coffee, all of that. I didn't tell you to do that in the beginning, but at this point, I've hoped you stopped the review and you went to get something warm and cozy so you can sip and watch me, okay? Um, or watch it again, okay? And make sure you press that like button, all right? Um, so Kayali's Love Fest, a beautiful release. This definitely gives me that 
Tom Ford Lost Cherry Nuance in the opening. But you know, when I get in the end, I get that rich vanilla resinous Palo Santo, y'all. It's woody. It's so amazing. So in here, you have your burning cherry, raspberry, praline. I get all of that. It's not a tart raspberry. This is like a stewed raspberry jelly with a, um, a slightly a uh, caramel or praline scent, like a dark caramel or praline scent in this fragrance that you get in the opening. I get the raspberry with the cherry. I get a burst of cherry in the opening. Then I get the raspberry. I really want to spray it, but I don't want to start choking all over again. Um, then I get the cherry. I get some woodiness in the open. I get a little smokiness. Um, then as it starts to dry down about five minutes, I get some raspberry, like a sweet, rich raspberry. Um, on top of that praline and the woodiness. Um, also, there's guayac wood, palo santo patchouli. All of the other scents in this, um, the notes in this fragrance, almost covers up the patchouli to me in here. Uh, but like I said, it's cherry, raspberry, praline, and palo santo. Uh, but it does give you in the opening that Tom Ford cherry, um, uh, lost cherry nuance, you know. But y'all, this is so much better. And I don't understand why people say this don't last long because this lasts 12 hours on me. I've worn this to work a couple times. I sprayed it about 12 times, 12, 15 times, skin and clothes, 12 hours, y'all. So I don't know. Hydrate your skin, okay? Hydrate your skin. <laughs> All right, so I am going to choose three, my top three. Well, you already know my number one is magenta tanzanite, okay? Uh, my number two, I am going to go with Dolce Diablo, stunning fragrance, the performance, all of that. And my number three, y'all, even though I want to give it to Gris Charnel, um, y'all, it's so good. I wanted to, I want to give it to, uh, Origins of a Collector. I want to give it to Peregrina, y'all. Oh, I'm going to have to go with... This is so hard. I should have did my top five, y'all. Because I want to give it to Kayali, you know? I want to give it to Kayali. I want to get it. There's so many amazing ones here. But because of the artistry of this fragrance, the transition of this fragrance, it's beautiful. It's giving me everything. It's a 10 out of 10, you know, Fega fragrance. Um, and it's not Gris Charnel uh, x -trait. My number three that I would probably snatch up if I had to run out and grab some would be Methesis, 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 Methesis <laughs> by the House of Mono Gerakinis. I would take this in a heartbeat, y'all. Y'all, the fig, the honey, the cacao, Ooh, y'all, it's amazing and I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this here. I have accident all of the Bani uh, Madeleine de Pousse there, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. It's amazing, it's amazing. A little birchy green in the opening, you get a rich fig, you know? I'm starting to get that cacao powder, you know? But that honey's pulling through, but when it dries down, y'all, I'm in heaven, okay? That honey and the cacao is rich and it pulls through. And that fig is like so realistic and super fresh. Y'all, that is it for my ND Niche Fragrance House Review, new releases of 2022, y'all. Um, like I said, I have a couple more on the way and I will include those in my designer. So I won't be doing the designer in, until maybe like next week, you guys. All right, love you all. Have an amazing day. Go on to the world, spread amazing siage. Do good, be good, all of that. And uh, give somebody a hug today. You know, love on somebody, y'all. All right, bye-bye.